So, so Graves' disease and thyroid eye disease, um, really two uh, conditions that run together. Graves' disease is a systemic condition. It's usually associated with hyperthyroidism, although it can be associated with, with normal thyroid levels or low thyroid levels. Um, because it's a systemic condition, it has autoimmune effects uh, throughout the body, and the most common uh, uh, extra thyroidal manifestation of the disease is TED or thyroid eye disease. And so thyroid eye disease is a, is a condition that I treat quite commonly that occurs in about 50% of patients who have Graves' disease. They'll have some signs or symptoms of thyroid eye disease, and we can certainly talk more about that. Most patients are going to be seeing either a primary care doctor or an endocrinologist to make that diagnosis of Graves' disease. Although if patients have the eye findings, sometimes they come to the ophthalmologist first whoever their eye care provider is, and they notice these eye findings and say, you know, you, you might need to have your thyroid level checked because we're seeing certain signs and symptoms of thyroid eye disease, and then they get diagnosed that way. The vast majority, though, come through endocrine or primary care doctors. Um, so the, the signs and symptoms, uh, to me, seem really obvious, but they can be missed pretty easily, uh, especially in the beginning of the disease uh, or if the signs are, are relatively mild. And so what may happen, and happens frequently, as an endocrinologist or a primary care doctor will see a patient, diagnose them with Graves' disease, and look at the eyes but not notice some subtle eye findings and think, okay, they don't have thyroid eye disease. And so one of the things I always stress to our endocrinologists, our primary care doctors, is let us get a baseline exam on these patients right away just so we can see if they have any of the subtle signs because it's a progressive disease and it can get worse. And we'd certainly like to catch these patients at the beginning, have a baseline on them, know if they have any signs or symptoms of thyroid eye disease. And that also helps us manage uh, their course going forward, in particular, potentially how the endocrinologist decides to treat their high thyroid levels. So there are different treatments that those endocrinologists will choose. And some one treatment in particular is known to worsen thyroid eye disease, radioactive iodine. And so if a patient has thyroid eye disease, we want to know ahead of time so we can you know, help our endocrinologists make a good informed decision about what the best treatment is for, for the Graves and the hyperthyroidist. So symptoms of thyroid eye disease uh, are um, the most common. 90% of patients with the disease will have upper eyelid retraction. Basically what that means is the upper eyelid pulls up too high and you oftentimes will see some white over the colored part of the eye. That's called superior scleral show. Their eyes may not close all the way. The eyes can then get dry, become red, inflamed, irritated. Um, other symptoms the patient may complain of besides irritation and foreign body sensation is light sensitivity because that's an issue from dryness or tearing. That's the body's response to try to overcompensate and help with that, that dry aspect that the eyes have. Second most common thing patients will present with is uh, something called proptosis or exophthalmos. All that means is that the eyeballs are pushing out too far. They're swelling behind the eyes and the eyes push out or bulge out. And that'll happen in about 50% of patients with thyroid eye disease. Third most common is double vision. So the eyes don't line up. Patients see two images instead of one. And sometimes you'll notice that if you just look at a, a patient, if it's really obvious the eyes aren't lined up, you can tell. But if you shine a light at a patient and you look at that light reflex that it creates, it should be in the center of both pupils. If you see one pupil sort of off to the side or up too high, then you know the patient uh, may have uh, issues with double. They're also going to tell you, I'm seeing two images, not one. That happens in about 40% of patients. Frank vision loss, which is our scariest sign of the disease, of thyroid eye disease, uh, occurs in about 5 to 6% of patients. And that's that's basically from compression at the back part of the eye from swelling and inflammation of the eye muscles pushing on the optic nerve that transmits vision back to the brain. So that can, that can be quite serious uh, and concerning, uh, certainly for the patient, also for us as ophthalmologists.